Hi guys, Dr. Cliff Olson from Applied Hearing Solutions, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to clean and maintain an invisible in the canal hearing aid. Coming up. Cleaning an invisible in the canal hearing aid is extremely important. They live in the harshest area for a hearing aid, which is deep inside of your ear canal. What it's exposed to is more earwax and more moisture and debris from inside your ear canal. If the hearing device ends up getting dirty, the sound quality and the, the general functionality and longevity of the device won't be as good. So that's why it's extremely important to maintain the cleanliness of your invisible in the canal device. In this particular video, I'm gonna cover the Phonak Titanium device. Invisible in the canal devices generally require more cleaning and maintenance than other types of models because they live inside of your ear canal, which is the harshest area for a hearing device. It's subject to more moisture, more earwax, more debris, things like that, and any little bit of dirt or grime can affect the performance of these hearing aids substantially. Not only that, but if you want your invisible in the canal hearing aids to perform well for a long period of time, then maintaining them is extremely important. When we're cleaning an in the canal or invisible in the canal hearing aid, we need to make sure that we have a few things. First is an alcohol pad. Second is a Kleenex. Third is a cleaning tool that has a brush. Fourth is a bore punch. And fifth is the wax trap exchange system. What we'll start off with is an alcohol swab. We can take the pad and clean off any kind of earwax or debris that would have been built up in, on the hearing aid. Once we have that done, we need to focus on making sure that we brush off the device on the part that sticks outside of the ear, making sure that we get any kind of debris off of here. It's important to note that for this type of hearing aid, it has very small microphone slits in here, and we need to make sure that we get all that debris off. Once we get the face plate clean like that, we will open it up and we'll brush out any kind of debris that's building up inside of the unit. That's it for the back side or the face plate. We can then flip it over and you see this little white tip here. That is our wax trap. We wanna take our little white wax trap exchange system and it has a stick here. And on one side you can see the new piece. On the other side is the removal end. So we will take and we will push it into the center. We will remove the old one. We will flip it over and push the new one in its place and give a little tap with our finger at the end. Any earwax that was in the old one is now removed and a new one is put in its place. It will depend on how dirty your ears get as to how often you'll have to remove and exchange that. The last thing that we want to do is take our little bore punch here and make sure that we have that vent nice and clear. And we will run this all the way through that vent hole that is just below the white wax trap. If that ever gets plugged, it will give you the perception of maybe you talking and feeling like you're in a barrel or your own voice is amplified too loud and you don't like the way that you're perceiving that sound. That is how you clean an invisible in the canal or in the canal hearing aid. So there you have it. Those are the basics that you can do from the comfort of your own home to maintain your Phonak Titanium hearing aids. A couple other things that you're going to want to make sure that you do is use the dehydrator kit. If there, there should be no debate that you should be using a dehydrator kit with Invisible in the Canal hearing aids. They are subject to moisture constantly. Just because you're not you know, showering and letting water get in your ear doesn't mean that they're not subject to moisture. Your body is putting off moisture constantly, particularly inside your ear canal where you have skin surrounding the hearing aid at all times. That being said, there are three different types of dehydrator kits. Some that use silica beads, 
ones that use just a warming tray, and then others that force air through the hearing devices and remove moisture that way. I would highly recommend for this particular type of hearing aid to use the ones that actually force air through the device. Another aspect that you shouldn't overlook is that you should be going in every three to six months to get these devices cleaned by your audiologist or your hearing care professional. They'll be able to do maintenance that you can't do from your home and will maintain the longevity and the sound quality of these devices for much longer. That's it for this video. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.